today. At the cross her station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping. Close to Jesus to the last. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus, in a world that seeks power and control, help me to remember your silence. Help me to realize that true power always enhances life, never destroys it. May I be ever mindful that all power comes from you and must be used in your service. Jesus accepts his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. And by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. So, Jesus, so they took Jesus, and carrying the cross himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, in Hebrew, Golgotha. In his acceptance of his cross, Jesus challenges us to be mindful of the burdens we lay on others. What unnecessary burdens do I lay on others? Do I delight in adding to another's difficulties in life? How does Jesus challenge me today? Through her heart his sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing, now at length the sword has pressed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Gentle Jesus, you accepted your cross lovingly. Help me to always beware that my actions can result in creating burdens for others I know, and even those I don't know. May I always choose my actions consciously trying to reduce the suffering of others. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. And by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. In his fall, Jesus challenges our apathy. When have I been unmoved by the fall of another? How often have I seen another's failure as a result of an inadequacy on their part and deserving of disgrace? How does Jesus challenge me today? Oh, how sad and sore distress was that father highly blessed of the soul begotten one. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
is now, now and at the hour, hour of our death. death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world, world without end. Amen. Jesus, you fell in front of everyone. Help me to notice those who fall around me because of weariness, pain, weakness, or sorrow. May I never ignore the suffering of others, but with your image before me, be compelled to offer assistance to those in need. Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. In his ability to look into the face of his helpless mother, Jesus challenges our sense of always needing to be in control. The world wants us to believe that we can have everything and do anything. How do we balance that with a healthy sense that we are not always in charge? How do we accept those awful moments in our lives, not simply as failures, but as part of the fullness of life? How does Jesus challenge me today? Christ above in tormentings, she beneath beholds the pangs of her dying glorious Son. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall shall be, world world without end. end. Amen. Jesus, Jesus, you teach us that there are always moments in our lives that bring pain, pain, failure, and sometimes there's nothing we can do to change them. Help us, like Mary, to accept those times with faith and trust and love. May we never let those moments defeat us, but strengthen us for the next moment on our journey. Simon helps carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. And by your holy cross, we have redeemed the world. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon of a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. In the willingness to continue alone, despite his weakness, Jesus challenges our lack of involvement, our fear of upsetting the status quo. How can I look at the suffering that exists around me without responding? What do I need to push me towards service? How does Jesus challenge me today? Is there one who would not weep, whelmed in misery so deep? Christ, dear Mother, to behold. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Patient Jesus, you wait for us to come to realizations in our own time. Help me to have the wisdom to know that just because something continues to happen in front of me doesn't make it right. May I never lack the courage to do what I know is right, and even if it involves the risk. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. 
We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. And by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. In his response to Veronica's act of kindness and courage, Jesus challenges us to do likewise. We find no evidence of Veronica in the scripture. Perhaps we created her because we refused to believe that no one would step forward in the midst of this great tragedy to assist Jesus. Perhaps Veronica is my best self, unprompted love, courage, no thought of danger or cost. Is that when the imprint of Christ's own self is most dear in me? How does Jesus challenge me today? Can the human heart refrain from partaking in her pain, in that mother's pain untold? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Loving Jesus, you shared the image of your very self with Veronica. Help me to always believe in my own goodness and act on it. May my life always reflect the light of God's life within me. Jesus falls a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. In the second fall, Jesus challenges our refusal to recognize the sufferings of our sisters and brothers. It might be possible to see and, and ignore one fall, but not two. Could it be that the fall of another adds to my stature or status? Is it my gain or my unwillingness to lose what I have that allows me to ignore it? How does Jesus challenge me today? Bruised, berided, first defiled, she beheld her tender child, all with bloody skirt is rent. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, for the world of God. Amen. Suffering Jesus, you fall yet another time. Help me never to allow the suffering of others to continue so that my life can remain undisturbed. May I always be ready to lift up my sisters and brothers, even at a cost to myself. Jesus speaks to the women. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. And by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. In his ability to focus not on himself, but on those around him, Jesus challenges us to the realization that our lives are all interconnected. Do I think that the lives of others have no connection to mine? as if I could just observe, perhaps even weep, yet walk away unchanged? When one of my brothers or sisters suffers or is oppressed, 
I too suffer, and I too am oppressed. Have I cried for others so that I would not have to work for them? When will I realize that justice will come only when those who are not oppressed are equally as outraged as those who are? How does Jesus challenge me today? For the sins of his own nation saw him hang in desolation till his spirit forth he sent. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Compassionate Jesus, in the midst of your own suffering, you turned your face toward others. Help me to understand that my salvation is bound up with everyone else's. May I always work for peace and justice for others, knowing that at the same time, I am working for my own. Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. And yet another fall, Jesus challenges our hardness of heart toward those who seem undeserving of help. There are some who fall who are easy to assist, but then there are those who, in my mind, fall because they deserve to. I don't even feel bad about not helping. They are beyond saving. Who are those people in my life? How does Jesus challenge me today? O oh, sweet Mother, fount of love, touch my spirit from above. May my heart with yours accord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus, you welcome the sinner and the outcast without judgment or condemnation. Help me to open my heart to others without first judging them. May I be as generous and unquestioning in my love to them as you have been to me. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. By your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. They divided his garments by casting lots. In his nakedness, Jesus challenges us to treat each person with dignity. How often do I strip others of their dignity? How often do I ignore those who diminish the dignity of others through words or actions? How does Jesus challenge me today? Make me feel as you have felt. Make my soul to glow and melt with the love of Christ my Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Holy Mary Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Loving Jesus, your life is a witness to the beauty and dignity of all human life. Help me to respect that dignity in all persons, in all stages of life, in all races and creeds. May I work each day to appreciate and accept the uniqueness and goodness of all people, and to guarantee that that right when it is threatened. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. And by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. There they crucified him, and with him two others, one on either side, with Jesus in the middle. In his willingness to endure the agony of death, Jesus challenges us to stand by those who are dying. How do I journey with those who are dying, or dealing with life-threatening illness? How do I view my own mortality? How does Jesus challenge me today? Let me share with you his pain. Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Suffering Jesus, though you were God, you willingly endured suffering and death. Help me to follow your example and never shrink from those things in my life that cause me pain. May I truly believe that the result of death and dying is always greater life. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. When Jesus had taken the wine, he said, It is finished. And bowing his head, he handed over the Spirit. In his death, Jesus challenges our fear and promises us new life. What is my response in the face of death? Not just my own, but others. Members of my family, people in war-torn places around the world, the death of the very earth itself. How does Jesus challenge me today? Let me share with you his pain, who for all our sins was slain, who for me in torments died. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, pray pray for for us sinners now now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, Without end. Amen. Abandon Jesus. Jesus. In your hour of death, even your even closest, closest friends fled. Help me to never shrink from the fear of death, but to offer it as the final act of life. Help me to accept the death of others when I must, yet fight against the death when it comes as a result of injustice, war, hatred, or neglect. May I come to know that life is stronger than death. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. By your holy cross, 
to have redeemed the world. Having bought a linen cloth, he took him down, wrapped him in the linen cloth, and laid him in a tomb that had been hewn out of the rock. In his burial, Jesus challenges us to remain open to the mystery of life. How often do I bury my hopes and dreams? Do I lack faith in those around me or in myself, unable to see the potential? How does Jesus challenge me today? Let me mingle tears with thee, mourning him who mourned for me all the days that I may live. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus, those who love you most still did not understand the promise of your life. Help me to have faith enough in myself and others to enable me to continue to believe in the richness of life despite fear and failure. Help me to trust that your life and your love are always available to me, even when they seem hard to find. May I live every day filled with your life that is stronger than death until we are one together forever. God of everlasting life, our journey with you has transformed us. What appeared to be death has become instead a source of life. May we always respond to the challenge of your invitation to become more than we are. May your constant presence on the way strengthen our steps, confirm our spirit, and bring to fulfillment your promise of new life within us. We make this prayer through the one whose cross and resurrection sets us free, Jesus Christ, your Son, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. In the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you for coming. Have a nice afternoon.